Alright guys, in this segment we're going to be talking about Spear Reaper. Uh, now that Spear Reaper is at 2, it's probably going to see a little bit more play with Chaos and the whole, uh, you know, Chaos Sorcerer at 3, Card Trooper at 2 thing. Um, <clears throat> uh, Spear Reaper. Uh, Spear Reaper's effect states that, well it's a destruction effect, states that when it's targeted by a card effect, it's destroyed. Now, I have an example here, Book of Moon. Book of Moon is a card that targets. If Book of Moon targets Spirit Reaper, Spirit Reaper will not be destroyed. It would stay face down. The reason for this is because Spirit Reaper checks to see if it's destroyed at the resolution of the card that targets it effect. So basically, Book of Moon, by the time Book of Moon resolves, Spirit Reaper would be face down. So. Let me give you another example. This is a Gale. Gale's effect targets to cut in half the attack. Gale targets Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper would need to remain face up on the field for its effect to destroy itself after being targeted, which in this case would happen. Gale halves, Spirit Reaper remains face up, it's destroyed. Another example would be like Soul Exchange. Soul Exchange activates Spirit Reaper. By the time Soul Exchange resolves, Spirit Reaper is spaced up on the field is then destroyed. Um, so that's pretty much it. Spirit Reaper checks that resolution. I know a lot of people may be like, oh, I already knew that. Um, but a lot of people also don't know that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more segments. Peace.